Our next outstanding alumni is Mark Summers, class of 1973. Mark Summers from the class of 1973 is a goal-setting entrepreneur who is making a tremendous impact on the world around us. Even as a Boy Scout in his early years, he stayed the course and attained the rank of Eagle Scout. While attending the University of Michigan, he joined the Naval ROTC. Upon graduation, he went to flight school and became a Naval flight officer and an F-14 instructor, logging over 2,000 hours of flight time with more than 500 aircraft carrier landings. Upon leaving the military, Mark started a career in medical device sales and marketing, gaining the knowledge and experience that would serve him in his future endeavors. In 1999, his entrepreneurial skills led him to founding Three Wire, a provider of outsourced clinical trial patient recruitment, direct-to-patient marketing, and patient management services for the pharmaceutical, biotech, and medical device industries in North and South America, Europe, Russia, the Middle East, and Australia and New Zealand. Mark not only founded the company, but raised approximately $4 million in equity capital, developed the marketing model and underlying information technology platform, and has multiple patents pending. His company has grown to more than 400 employees, has sparked innovation, expansion, and growth of industry in Minnesota, where the headquarters are located. Three Wires Innovative Technology has dramatically reduced the time needed to identify and recruit suitable patient populations needed for clinical trials. This, in turn, shortens the time needed to get life-saving medical devices and pharmaceutical products to market and in use for sick patients, thus saving lives and improving the quality of life for countless patients. In 2017, Mark earned the distinction of being an Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year finalist. Mark's leadership extends far beyond the realm of business. He is a leader in many Twin City business and civic organizations where he gives back his time, talent, and treasure. He is a frequent speaker on leadership and entrepreneurship topics and provides formal and informal mentoring to others in the areas of financial stewardship and business planning and management. He has served on the boards of multiple faith-based, for-profit, and non-profit organizations in the United States, Europe, and Israel. Mark and Lori have raised five children and live in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. Mark, please come forward and accept your award. Well, I, I didn't realize I had done all that until I saw it there on the screen. But uh, I, uh, I want to thank the foundation also and the Alumni Association for the awards, and I want to thank my classmate uh, Marie Taleko Masterson for nominating me for this. And uh, I, I haven't lived in Adrian for a long time. I left a couple of years uh, after, uh, well, I went away to college in Ann Arbor and then moved away, and I've lived away ever since then. But uh, my roots will always be in Adrian, and the, the, the person that I am today, and uh, the things that uh, I've been able to accomplish with the help of a lot of other people, all started here. And uh, I have uh, so many great memories of uh, the, uh, the public schools. You know, I, I, uh, I think about, um, so many great teachers, some of whom I saw tonight. Uh, I saw Jim Peters, one of my favorite uh, teachers in high school. Uh, Bill Cohn, I remember having him his first year out of college. Um, and uh, Doug Nelson, I uh, had Doug uh, for PE. And uh, Doug and Dane's father, Cliff, I had him uh, as a history teacher. And uh, he was one of my favorite teachers. He could make history come alive in a way that, um, that uh, very few teachers can make a subject come alive. And to this day, I still love history. My, my wife will tell you I would rather read a history book than, uh, than, than almost any other type of book. And, um, but as I think about all the things that, uh, that I've been privileged to do, it all started here in Adrian. 
and my roots will always be here. I think about the company uh, that was uh, talked about in the video. Uh, we do a lot of work in uh, oncology research and uh, the people in the company are moving forward uh, whole new classes of, uh, of drugs, um, immuno-oncology drugs and around the world and moving them through the research pipeline. And um, when I think about it, that started here. Um, I, I was privileged to start the company, but it started here in Adrian, and Adrian owns a piece of that and uh, owns a piece of the success of that. And, uh, and, I, and I hope Adrian is proud of that. I know I really am proud of it. And uh, last, I, I wanna thank um, so many people in my life. I wanna thank my family um, who gave me the values uh, that uh, turned me into the kind of person that I am today. Many of them are here, my brother, um, aunt and uncle, cousin, um, my wife, Lori, who stood by me through so many years and so many uh, entrepreneurial experiments. Our five kids who uh, lived through uh, years with uh, no paycheck and from dad and uh, because of, of uh, putting everything back into the company. And, uh, and I wanna thank also uh, the employees in the company. Uh, even though they're not here, none of them are from Adrian, uh, but it's really their success uh, that has, that has uh, turned the company into what it is. And I just am privileged to work with every one of them and I love every one of them like a family member. So um, thank you very much, it's such a privilege uh, to uh, win this award, and, and I just, uh, I, uh, I want to thank you all. Thank you.